from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. You all know what you have to do. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. And just as importantly, we teach women how men think. At 1-800-5800-TOM, it's 1-800-5800-866. It's Mary. I'm like his 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, my question is, you were talking to Javier the other night about his girlfriend that went to the club. Right. And you told him um, that if you didn't if you didn't want his girlfriend to go to the club, then he should say, don't go to the club. Or if you want to go, then we won't be together. But no, if, no. I I, well, actually, I, I don't believe in ultimata. We play right. with ultimatum. Right. Um, I believe that if your girl goes to clubs, you should leave. That's it. If you, <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't stay around. You shouldn't even have a conversation about it. You just simply tell her, I, I don't date women who still go to clubs. Well, how is that different, though, than, I mean, is that not an ultimatum? I'm just trying to. No. I'm not arguing. You're not you. giving, no, no, you're, you're not giving her an option. Okay. You're telling her, you can't, you're a club goer. That's what you're going to do. But what about when someone says, well, I feel like we should be married, and if you don't marry me, then I'm going to leave by this date? Uh, same thing. What, if, if you are not satisfied that someone has, by the way, any man who hasn't asked you to marry him, mm -hmm. listen carefully, doesn't want to marry you. Right. Well, I'm not worried about that yet, but I'm just... Well, if he ha <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if he hasn't, he doesn't. Okay. It's that simple. <laughs> so why demean yourself by giving him a deadline? Okay. I, no, I agree. No, if I, he doesn't I, want to marry you that. and you want to be married, you have to say, it's time for me to go. That's it. Okay. No right. no ultimatum. Right. He does not have an option in this. Okay. So it's more of a like personal, personal like worth thing as opposed to... Well, it is. Now, who knows? I've never tricked someone into marrying I'm me. Not so. just, I'm not suggesting you trick someone. No, I know. I am suggesting, though, that you be honest with people. If getting married is your goal... Uh, you should make sure that you repeat that uh, from time to time, that uh, so people understand that that is your goal. And if they have not asked you to marry them, and and you feel like it should have happened by now, you simply pack your things and go. Well, it's more of an issue for me of him not like I don't want him hanging out with ex girlfriends and stuff, and I don't want to like leave, but I don't want him to do that. Well, again, th then so th it, then I you do, should so. leave. Okay, right. I mean, you should just leave. Okay. I, I mean, believe me. Um, I have uh, ice. I've put people on ice for less than that. Right. Trust me when I tell you. Okay. I mean, I you know, I I don't wait in line behind people. I just refuse to do it. I don't nag people. I don't ask them. I I I just not. I I have more than once been with a woman. Who is waiting for me to say, I love you, or waiting for me to say, let's get married. And when I didn't say it within a particular period of time, she would simply, like, meet somebody else. And then come to me and go, well, you know, you don't really uh, love me, and so I went out and met someone else. Well, great. They I, they were expecting maybe, like, like, it's, like it's eBay, and we're bidding on this, maybe I'll make a better offer. <laughs> so my response is very simple when that happens. I say, that is fantastic. Best of luck to you. Okay. And you know what inevitably happens? <laughs> <laughs> you get that weepy phone call a few months later, maybe a year yeah. later. I you know if you still have the same number. <laughs> you know, they, they start saying that they're so sorry that they never understood. I have always said that uh, if I were ever going to be in a relationship, which is not my plan, or get married... It would take me a very long time of knowing someone. Mm -hmm. And a very long, in other words, there's no telling me, like when Bush wanted to get the uh, stimulus package passed, and he said, we have to do this right away. <laughs> Anybody who talks to me about a relationship like that or marriage, out! Right. They're out. Okay. And uh, in your case, he's talking to ex-girlfriends, and he doesn't want to marry you, doesn't ask <laughs> you to marry you. Well, what's left? Well, we haven't been together long enough for me to... How, to long have you been, how long have you been together? Um, Not even a year yet. So not But he still enough. talks to ex-girlfriends. Yeah, that's... And you don't like that. Yeah. So the thing to do is leave if right. you don't like it. You're not going to change his behavior. 
know. You mu no, no, you say you know that. But I'm no, telling I, I don't. I'm to. telling you, he talks to ex-girlfriends because he wants to. Right. That's it. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to change. He's okay. doing what he wants to do. Right. So now, if you tell him you don't like what he's doing, here's what he's going to do. He's going to do it where you won't know about it. Right, exactly. That's what that's what started to happen. There is a wonderful book, and I can't remember the name of the author. It's called "Tell Me No Lies," mm -hmm. because uh, it, it's a book you got to read. Because among the things it talks about is a situation just like this, where uh, usually it's women who try to control the behavior of their men. But I said, "You better not talk to anybody. You better not be going out drinking all night." And so what what guys do is they start lying about. It. Yeah. And then you say, well, you lied to me. Why do you lie to me? <laughs> well, it's simple. Because you kept telling me you didn't want me to do it, and I had no plan on stopping. I did it to shut you up. Yeah. Exactly. Why would you want to do something? Uh, 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 put it this way. Why would you want to stay with a guy who doesn't want to marry you, wants to keep talking to his ex-girlfriends, and, and you're going to tell him, you're going to say, I want you to stop doing that. Why do you think he would stop? Yeah, I know. He'll start lying about it. This sex may be good, but come on. There's other people <laughs> who are good, too. Yeah. Like his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. So if you really think the sex is going to be enough of a uh, of an incentive for him to stop doing that, guess again. No, I know I don't have a magical vagina. <laughs> no one has a magical vagina. Vaginas are all pretty much the same. I know. The only exception is, uh, you know, somebody who's uh, got a few miles on the odometer. Hey, <laughs> hello down there. You know. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Well, thank you. I, that's why I called. All right, by the way, the name of the author on Tell Me No Lies is Dr. Ellen Bader. Ellen Bader. And okay, Dr. Peter T. Pearson. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, a, a, an excellent book. Okay. I will explain your situation and, and my reaction to the book, which may not have been the intention of the author's. Mm -hmm. is the best way to get someone not to lie to you is to have enough self-respect and integrity that when you don't like the relationship, you simply pack your things and go. Mm -hmm. No discussion, no debating. He's doing what he wants to do. Yeah. True. All right? All right. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you, darling. Bye. Appreciate the call. It's like it's 101. I'm your professor. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Andre on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, Andre. Man, I got to tell you a great story that happened to me this weekend. I was at, um, well, a couple weeks ago, I found out my girlfriend was pregnant, and um, I didn't know what to do, man. They were telling me, oh, you got to talk her into an abortion, and I, I just, I was confused. I so I was like, okay, just give me time to think about what I want to do. My boss tells tell me, you know what, your life is over. You got, um, you're going to have to spend like every two hours waking up with the baby. You're going to have to put up with her hassle. You're going to have to pay child support. Most likely you're not going to end up with this chick because this is a chick that made me buy her boobs and she ended up cheating on me. I That's what know. chicks do when you buy the boobs. I, know, I, I can't I, believe guys don't get this. I've been giving you that message for years. I know. I I didn't know, she, but she. Why didn't into, you listen to me? I she tricked she tricked me into it. She said she had like cancer or something like that, so I loaned loan her the money. Fine. Uh, you know why? If she had cancer, the insurance would be paying for it. I, I was an idiot. I was an idiot. She didn't. She talked to me. And into, why do you have a girlfriend at twenty one? I don't know. Because but, you're an idiot. I uh, didn't. I tell you not to have a girlfriend. You told me like four times already. But you thought you knew more than the professor. But you know, Tom, I. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do now? Um, I, w I just want to keep on the side for a piece of ass. And, um, no, like, you're done with that because look what she already did to you. She got pregnant. And she'll do it again. And next time you might not be so lucky. Well, th it, there was only like a 10% chance of her getting pregnant. 10% means one. Uh, uh, how many times do you have sex in a week? That means one out of every ten times you have sex, she's going to get pregnant. We we have we have unprotected sex. Why? I don't know, man. Because you're an idiot. 
Do you plan to have a career? Do you plan to have a, a, a to, to make money, to own a house? To, of course to, I do. Well, well, I guess it. what? If you have to pay her ass for having your kid, you're not doing any of that. Well, she she is she's our she's a a nurse, and you know, I don't care sense. what she is. You're gonna pay. Oh, man. And you know what you're going to be doing? You're what? going to be changing my windshield wiper fluid. That's what you're going to be doing. Oh, hell no, Tom. I'm not that low. That's okay. where you're going. If you ha if she has your baby... Yeah. You're <laughs> well, Tom... Like, you're going to ring up my 1995. You're going to change my oil with Pennzoil. That's what you're going <laughs> to do. That's going to be you. Dad, well, let me tell you what happened. This weekend, I took her down to the hospital because she was having, all, uh, like, um a lot of pain and blood discharge and so i rushed her down there and um they had her in the, in the room so i went to go you my sister and everything and i told her you know what my sister was telling me the same thing you were you know you're not even ready to have a kid uh, you don't even have money or nothing you don't have a career how are you gonna support this kid and i told her well there's a chance she might have a miscarriage and if she does i'll go ahead i'll come out i'll put the baby in a plastic bag and show you <laughs> the feet and um are you still there? <sighs> Barely. Call her up and dump her. Okay. And, um... She's still, still your girl. Um, She's still your girlfriend. What a moron. You're going to get everything you deserve and more. Well, She's going to get knocked up, and you're going to be paying. Well, so Tom, just get ready. So that, no, that I'm, I'm done listen. with you. I'm done. If you're staying with her, there's nothing I can tell you. Good luck to you, son. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. So how long do I wait to call? A day. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, then a day. Yeah. So two days. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Definitely. Two days. Yeah, two days is like industry standard. Well, how long are you guys going to wait to call your babies? Six, Six days. days. How many times did you call her this week? Twice. Twice? You called her Twice? Dan, never call abroad more than once a week. Never, ever, ever. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Mike is 101. I am your professor. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Don't forget, there is now a Saturday edition of the Tom Likas Show. You can hear us on Saturdays from 2 until 6 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk and at blowmeuptom.com. Don't forget to tune in this Saturday from 2 until 6 in the afternoon. On 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles and at blowmeuptown.com. Click on the Listen Live button, and there we will be. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Likus 101 with your professor, Tom Likus. Carlos, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Love um, your show, you're the best. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is my problem. Um, I've been dating this girl for about nine months now, and uh, she's been talking about moving in. She has three kids. These kids are not mine, okay? And um, she asked me, how would we split the cost? And um, I said, well, if we're to get a two-bedroom, I don't think we should split it down the middle because um, we wouldn't have to get a two-bedroom if, if it was just you and me. Well, she didn't like that I said that. She got angry. And, uh, well, she hasn't talked to me since. It's, it's been a week now since I haven't heard from her. So what's the question, as Larry King once said? Um, well, <laughs> I know she listens to the show, and I know how you feel about this. I just wanted her to, you know, because I'm sure she's listening. So, um, I mean, how do you feel about that? Should it be 50-50? Well, first of all, I don't think, for, first of all, I don't think you should be living with her kids. Right, okay. Let's start with that. Right, I, yeah, I know you'd say that. Secondly, her kids are the burden of her and the guy or guys who created them. Exactly. Not yours. Well, the way she sees it, I don't love her enough. <laughs> no, I don't love anyone enough to do that. Yeah. So, uh. Um, Tell you right now. 
Yeah, exactly, because, uh, I mean, I told her I would be fine with moving in if it wasn't 50-50. By the way, because... how did she become your ex-girlfriend? Well, she's been an ex just now a week, like I said, because on Friday was the last day that I saw her. All right. And, uh, yeah, she's in your favor. So, so this is not a second time around for you. This is, uh, you were with her for how long? Nine months. About nine months, yeah. Right. I mean, that's why I tell you not to date single mothers. Right. This is why I tell you, because eventually this is what they want. Well, you know, the funny thing is, we'll go out. She's told me before, you know, my kids are my responsibility. You don't have to pay for them. They we'll always, wait, wait. They always say that in the beginning to try to get you in uh, the door. Right. So, yeah, now it's a totally different story if we're going to move in. Now I should have to pay half, and I don't see it that way. Well, you know? but the point is, this is why you don't date single mothers. Look, you got a taste of that nice piece of ass, and and now clearly she's demanding payment. So yeah. it's it's time to go. Right. Yeah, you can't I, you find chicks? You uh, you have no game? Oh no no, that, that's not a problem. I mean, you can't I find guess, hot chicks. No, that's uh, you know. I mean, just that everything was good. I mean, we we, we yeah, but everything well everything wasn't good because every, it was all a fake. It was all a fraud. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So if your whole goal is just to get laid, everything was going great. But right. like a moron, you started to have feelings for her. Yeah, you're right. You're Instead right. of realizing there was no future in a relationship that where you're not going to live with her kids and then pay the bills. Right, yeah. Um, you're absolutely right. I can't argue with you. That. And that is what most single mothers want. So you have to harden your heart and grow a thick skin. And if you want, if you insist on dating single mothers, which I don't recommend, yeah, you have to be prepared that it's going to end. You get a window of opportunity, and if she hasn't gotten knocked up by you, so she can get a guaranteed check from you, at some point she's going to demand to move in with you. All right. Well, I can't have kids. I got a vasectomy. So. All right. Well, she's going to demand that you move in with her, or she move in with you, and that you pay the bills. Never mind if she gets uh, child support from the uh, the fathers of those three children. And she, she does. And she does. she does. So she wants to keep that as her mad money and then have you pay for the kids. Right. Why would you ever agree to something like that? Well, again, um, I mean, this was just last week that we had this discussion. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm seeing how she is now. I'm seeing her true colors. Because, again, she had said one thing before, you know, that her kids are her responsibility. That's what out. they do. But I've been telling you this for years, Carlos. Right. Uh, you haven't been paying attention or you didn't believe me. Yeah, I've I been know. telling you this. This yeah. is how it is. There are exceptions to the rule, but so what? You want to spend your life looking for the exceptions to the rule? No. I mean, this is what single mothers generally do. They generally meet you. They generally say, well, I don't want you to meet the kids yet. We have to see where we're going. And then later on, they let you meet the kids. And then eventually, you're going to be paying for the privilege. Right. Yeah, and, and I told her that. You know, I, I, These are things that are, it's her mom that puts these things in her head. You know, because um, she's upset. I give my ex, you know, I have a daughter from somebody else. I give her money, and I guess she feels like I should have to give her money, too. You know. Well, that, that's my point. This is why this can't work. Do you understand? Right. Yeah. It can't. So there's nothing to be asking about. It's over. Right. Yeah. It was been over. It's been a week now. So no, I but, but, no, but it's been a week, but you, you maybe you were hoping I'd have a solution for you. And oh, the, no. I, I knew exactly what, what you were going to say. I just wanted her to hear from you because she listens to your show also. Yeah. It can't work. The, these children are not your responsibility. Period. Okay. End of story. Thank you and and much, you should Professor. not be living with those children, and you should not be taking care of them either. Yeah, And when I say taking care of them, I mean it in every sense, from spending money on them to taking them to the movies to babysitting for them. This is not your problem. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, where are the fathers of these children? Uh, he's, he sees them, you know, he's like well, every, that's, every other then weekend. That's, that's where the, the, the kids should be splitting their time between him and her. And they should be paying the bills between them. But this is not your business. And she should not be making it your business. Yeah. I mean, is she, hello? I'm right here. Okay, all right. Well, that's all I wanted to hear. In three seconds. Take... Where did I go? All right. <laughs> Could you please take me out um, Snoop Dogg and uh, James Brown style?
Yes. Well, James Bond style? I don't think we have that, but we definitely have Snoop Dogg style, if that's what you'd like. Yes. Right, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's like is 101. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to Jordan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great. All right. So, you know, I, I always hear people on here talking about marriages and kids and everything, but there's also things, problems for people like me that just trying to take it slow with your girl, but once they move in, it's just as bad. You can't get them out of there. Save for nothing. Why did you have her move in? Why do you have a girlfriend? I don't understand. I don't either, but it's, it's getting did, 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 did. What do you mean you don't either? <laughs> well, we Who moved did out there, you know, from North Carolina and uh, decided, you know, I couldn't make it out by myself. She wanted a chance to come out here, so we get a place. Why couldn't you? Are, you couldn't make it by yourself? Are you a little boy? No, I mean, I was just starting a new job, and it's a lot more expensive out here to live, so... So get a roommate! Yeah, n yeah. I should have. But anyway, listen, so she, we move in, we get a house with my brother, we rent a house, things are going good, everyone's doing their thing, and then things get bumpy with us. She says she wants a break, I say, all right, fine, you want a break. Her break is doing her thing, my break was going off and talking to someone else, so she looks up the phone records and finds out, starts getting all crazy trashing my stuff, uh, shutting off the there phones because they were in her name, and uh, now we got to break our lease early. You know, and I, I don't even know if I can get all the stuff out of my house uh, that I pay for. So, lesson well, why, learned. Why, but why, wait, not... wait, wait, wait. Are you locked out of the house now? No. Well, why don't you take the stuff out tomorrow? Well, we have, we are. We're, we're going to when she's at work tomorrow, but we still got a huge security deposit on this house, and she's going to stay here till the end and drain that money dry. Point is, I didn't. I didn't marry her. I didn't, you know, have kids with her. I thought I was doing the right thing. I still got hit upside the head. No, you didn't do the right thing because you moved in with her. Never yeah. give them your key. Yeah, big, big mistake. And you know, just for people out there that think they're going to be smart and just slow, take it slow and move in, like your parents tell you. Well, see if you can live with her first. No, don't. Don't see if you can. See if you can live without her first. And then you'll know. You, you believe me. I mean, when you came to Los Angeles, you should have come here if you couldn't afford to live here. You know, to, uh, look at a cheaper alternative like a guest house or a smaller apartment or the San Fernando Valley or something like that. And if you still can't afford it, then you go to one of these services like uh, Roommate Finders or one of those things. And you find a roommate. Yeah. Well, you go, go to Craigslist. But come on. Yeah. This is what happens. I know. I've been listening to your show, and I and I hear, and I go, "Yeah, I'm not doing that." I, I'm, you know, I, I never did. She wanted to get married. I said, "There's no point. We're doing good right now. There's no, there's no need to do that." Well, there is for her. She wants to well, uh, be able to hold you up for ransom. Yeah. Well, you. Uh, yeah, I learned I didn't have control of the situation like I thought. Sure, it's only a two thousand dollar hit, but it's still a hit that I wasn't ready for. You know. When is the lease up? The lease, it's up in like a few months. All right. And all the utilities are in her name, too, huh? None of them are in her name. That's another thing, you know? I thought you said the phone is in her name. Or cell phones. She went snooping through my phone records, seeing I was talking to people, and started calling. Dude, oh, man, it dude, was miserable. Dude, Metro PCS, $30 a month. Get your own phone. I did now. I'm on my own plan now. All right. And as far as the other utilities are concerned, you can stay in your house. I'm out of here. No, I'm no. Out of here tomorrow. Yeah, listen gone. to me. Take your stuff and then turn off the utilities. Yeah, I could do that. Yes, you could. I've you know, done it in the past myself. You turn off the gas, you turn off the uh, internet, you turn off the landline if you have one. At this point, I'm ready to just break free and have, you know, I won't mess with her. I don't and who is the landlord? Me. Did you say uh, your brother or her brother is the land? Who's the landlord? The landlord's just some, some lady that rents out the house. I see. So we're leaving, and we're just said, all right, keep this stuff. I'll keep the utilities on for a month for you. Find your own roommate. So she has it on Craigslist. She's trying to get people to move in here. You know, but a girl listening on Craigslist, all she's getting is a bunch of freaks. Well, you know, uh, by the way, why are you leaving the utilities on? Turn them off. Just because. I don't get want Get out trouble. and turn. There's no trouble. Turn them off. You're not responsible for paying her bills. Yeah, I'm turn not. Turn them off. If you're lucky, she moves out and you can move back in. Uh, no, we got our own place now, and I'll never make that mistake again. And I never heard people talk about that. I mean, I'm sure they have, but, you know, it's always 
it's it's amazing. We talk about it all the time. You just weren't paying any attention. Yeah, well, I thought I knew the, the top two things: don't get her pregnant and don't don't marry her until you know it's for real. But... Don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, but you know things start out great. That's how it started and out. Because everything starts out great. You know what? If you eat a gallon of chocolate ice cream, it starts out great. You ever eat a gallon of ice cream? Those first few spoonfuls, you got that big tub of ice cream sitting there. And the first few mouthfuls are fantastic. And you can feel like there's a little chocolate, a little, little cream, a little sticky stuff on your mouth. And it's feeling great. And then you take a few more spoonfuls and it's still feeling pretty good. And then you take a few more spoonfuls. And pretty soon you're going to the can and you can't stop going. Yeah. Everything well, starts well, out great. So what? Well, yeah. And you, I mean, I guess you got to go through that. because No, you out. don't have to go through it. That's why I'm here. So that you don't have to go through it. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> It's the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The Tom Likas Show now with less commercials, shorter commercial breaks. Faster phone calls, lots more of them. There's more show. And more chances for you to get in at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Cynthia on Likas 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Okay, I have a question. I have a boyfriend. I've been with him for three years, and recently I found text messages in his phone from another girl. Well, I'm 20 out. years old is too young to have a boyfriend or to be a boyfriend. That's bottom line. Well... I like to get laid on a regular basis. So Darling, I'll tell you what. If you give us your name and phone number, I'll get you laid every hour on the hour. <laughs> uh, well... I don't know. <laughs> Getting laid is easy if you're a female. Uh, by the way, if you need some help, let me just uh, give you a little uh, uh, heads up here on what to do. Okay, if you want to get laid, I want you you ready to write this down? I'm going to write this down. All right, get ready to write this down because here's how you get laid. Put your left leg at the 10 and your right leg at the 2. Uh-huh. Okay. That's pretty much all you have to do. Okay. Why are you looking at his text messages? Because he left it in my car and I went to, like, go... It's none of your business. That's none of your business. But the, the text message popped up from this girl. And you, why, went, if you so were I, not looking at the screen, you wouldn't have seen it. I know. It's none of your business. But I did it anyway. Well, you got what you deserved. But what if he's cheating on me? I don't know. Uh, he probably uh, is. Probably is. Because I, at 20 years old, I'm sorry, monogamy is a very rare thing. What is your rush to have a monogamous relationship at 20 years old? Um, I don't know. I, I think I love them, I guess. Oh, stop it. Now you're giving me two different answers. First, you say you want to get laid on a regular basis, and then you say you love them, I guess. This is just know. you. This I is know. just you. It's your ego. It's wanting to control him and have power over him. Why can't he just be your friend with benefits if you just need to get laid? Because we tried that and it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because jealousy. By who? You or him? Mostly him. Well, then move on. If I find someone else. Yeah, I guess. Don't demean yourself. Find somebody else. Yeah. I recommend you find more than one somebody else. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Because I don't want to be like a slut. I didn't say to find a hundred somebody else's. Would it be wrong if you had three? Um, maybe. What's the problem? I don't know. Uh, couldn't you just date people as they come along? I guess I could. Well, why not do it? I don't know. It's more. It's more convenient this way. Forget the more convenient. See again, you know, you're you're all over the road. I love them. I guess. Well, it's more convenient this way. You can't have both. It's one or the other. 
Yeah, I guess. so... You can't even tell me if you're with this guy because you want to get laid or because you love him. Because the real reality is you don't have any feelings about this guy. You just had... Yeah, you are a, a director of a play called My Life as told by Cynthia, and you have a role in the play for the part of boyfriend, and he auditioned for it and got it, and so now he's in your play. That's all it is. There's no love, there's no feelings, there's no nothing. It's just your ego and your jealousy uh, because uh, you think he might be with somebody else, and he probably is. At 20 years old, he should be with other people. Why? Because he's too young to have a committed relationship. And so are you. So, so what age would be an appropriate age? For 25, 25 minimum. 25 minimum? Yes. Like like after you've got your college degree and you have become the whatever uh, career goal you have, uh, nurse, doctor, lawyer, architect, once you've become that person, all right, if you insist on having one relationship with one person, that's the time. That time is not now. Okay. What school do you attend, dear? I just attend. It's like it's not a school. It's for insurance. I'm getting my insurance license. So you 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 ditched college because you had a boyfriend. No, because I'm uh, going to open up my own business. So what? Like, what? Well, what good is that going to be if you don't like get a degree in business? Because I don't need a degree in business for what I'm doing. Oh, really? Well, I guess I, I, I guess that's what a lot of people said before we get into this big uh, recession going on a depression. I guess so. Yeah, well, well far be it from you to need a degree in anything. <laughs> yeah. Speaks, yeah. Speaks for itself, darling. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show. Like us 101, I am your professor. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Ryan on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ryan. How you doing? Great. Wonderful, man. I'm, 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 I love your show. It's amazing. You know what, man? My problem, you know what? I've been listening and following to everything you've been saying, but my, my problem is this for you, Tom. What happens is I have a booty call, and you know you know your law. You know when you're 20, you know wait until you you're about 25 or you're you're you know you're in your your career and you're moving, so you don't really settle down. And you're right, I've been following that. I have eight girls myself, but there is one who's younger than me. She's 19, and she has benefits of the Yang. It's a beautiful thing, and I don't want to lead her on and make her think that there is things, but I want to put her at the point where I could use those benefits. So, what do you suggest? Well, and you certainly don't want to have a girlfriend. Right. Is she your girlfriend? She's a booty call. But does she think she's your girlfriend? Yes, she does. How'd you let that happen? You know what? I mean, I, I try not to smooth talk her, but like I said, I'm trying to find that balance to where I can hang out with her and talk to her and, and be a friend and not lead her on, but it, it just didn't work out. But you know the rules. The rules are... <laughs> you never see her during the light of day. Right. You never right. introduced to your friends or family. Right. You did all those things, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yes. See, that's where you screwed up. Right. There's no going back. You cannot press, press the rewind button. Once well, she's come uh, to expect to be the girlfriend, she will never accept a reduced role. That's true. Any more than you would take a, a demotion at work. Any more than you were in the eleventh grade, and you'd let them set you by tenth grade, right? You wouldn't. Right. You wouldn't accept it, and neither will she. So you Very have true. to lick your wounds, learn from your mistakes, and next time don't make those mistakes. Very true. So, so for further notice, then how would I find that balance, Tom? You know, to where I can get those benefits. I'm, money I'm telling you what to do. What you have to do is not let the sun hit their face. Yes, sir. Okay. Not let them meet any of your friends or family. Right. Never give them the key to your place. Ever. 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 Never give them money or anything of value. Right. 
because women read that as you want to be their boyfriend or husband. Right. You are not a protector. You're a banger. You're an effer. That's what you are. Right. The minute you start doing boyfriend-like things, they expect you to be the boyfriend. Very true. Don't be the boyfriend. Yes, sir. And, and most importantly, never, ever listen to what she has to say about her personal problems. Don't meet her friends or family either. Right. Very true. Thank you. No, Guru, you are the man, man. Thank you for that, Ryan. I appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Awesome. I have a question for you. I've uh, been going out with this girl about a year now, and uh, she didn't know. Well, she knew in the beginning. I told her that I smoked pot. And uh, as time went on, uh, she well, in the beginning, I told her that she told me that I shouldn't smoke anymore. And I said, okay, I'll quit. Why did you say that? Um, I don't know, because I'm a sucker. Well, you are a sucker, because you lied. You you were going to continue smoking pot. Maybe you laid off it for a little while, but you went back to it, didn't you? I went back to it. That's what everybody now, does. Everybody does, I know. And now it's been almost a year, and she found out through a friend that I've been smoking uh, all along, and she she's furious, and I understand, you know, because I lied. So uh, now she's giving me an ultimatum, either I... Quit smoking, or she's leaving. Let me make this easy. The answer is bye bye. Right. But then, then she said, "Okay, you know what? I'm not going to force you to leave. How about if you just smoke once a month?" No. Yeah, you are going to write the rules on your smoking, not her. Yeah. This I, is all uh, about power and control. Do you understand? Yeah. That's this has control. nothing to do with pot. This is her wanting to control you. You know, she smokes cigarettes, well, and it's much worse that she smokes cigarettes again. than me than, than the pot. Well, you know, maybe you're with the wrong person. Yeah. Well, she's giving me an ultimatum now, you know, you can smoke once a month or I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> That's simple. I mean, are you that desperate to get laid uh, by this particular person? It no, can't be no that one. good. My friend told me the other day, he said, if you could just hit the delete button, would you hit it? I said, yeah. He goes, well, there you go. There it is. There's your aunt. He's absolutely right. You're not, oh, e you're not even happy that you got into this relationship. So why not stay in it? Yeah. Here's your opportunity. She's giving you... You know how many guys call here and say, I don't know how to tell my girlfriend I want to leave. I mean, I don't want her to cry. I don't want to make her unhappy. She's giving you the opportunity. And she's crying and telling me, please, please, I love you. And I, I just, I won't have to. I love else for you. Me. I just have to be able to tell you what to do or I'll never be happy. <laughs> if I can't be the boss, I'm not going to be happy. If I can't Sorry. be your mother and always be watching over what you're doing and scolding you all the time, I can't be in a relationship with you. That's what I she's saying. Her. I told her, I, I want a lover and I want a friend, but I don't want a mother. Well, but the, Paul, the point is, if you had any self-esteem, you'd have already dumped this bitch. Yeah, you're right. Why are you still even discussing this with people? I don't know. I guess I thought we were going to get married, but... Uh... Oh, stop it. <laughs> and why do you need to get married? That's another chapter. Uh, I, know what? I don't need to get married. Then why do it? You're right. Because she's crying. She said she wants to be married. It was her dream. When she was a little girl, she had a dream to get married. Have that big wedding day. And uh, what am I supposed to tell her? She can't have her big dream. That's why you were getting <laughs> married, isn't it? Isn't it? I guess. Hey, I've been married four times. Dude, we've all been there. Yeah, I know. You, that's why you did it, isn't it? Yeah, that's part of it. The other part of it is, you know, because of the age thing, you know, you're wondering if... Uh, what are you wondering if, uh, about? you wonder if you want kids in your life or not, you oh, know? Oh, Jesus. You know, if you were doing things right... First of all, how old is she? 33. She passed her expiration date anyway. <laughs> Look, if you were doing things right, you'd be having this conversation with a 21-year-old. Yeah, that's true. What are you doing? At 33, beggars can't be choosers. 
Yeah. She does have a control issue. I know that. She well, even got into uh, Judaism and not eating meat and cheese. And I'm like, I've been eating meat and cheese all my life. Oh, no, no. Yeah, she didn't want you eating meat and cheese together. Right. I ain't no more cheeseburgers. Or that's oh. it. So, How many other things did she uh, try to twist your arm into doing? <laughs> Probably more than just the two we talked about, right? Yeah, there's more. I don't want to bore you, but yeah, there's there's more. Well, why, why do you tolerate that stuff? Are you a little boy? No, I'm not. Then you have to prove it. Yeah, I need to move on. Tell her to hit the road. Yeah. She doesn't leave. What do you mean? She lives with you? <laughs> yeah. Why? Um, uh, I don't know. It just worked out that way. No, no. You made that happen. I allowed it to happen. You made it happen. Who went to the locksmith and made an extra key? We bought it together. No, no. Uh, who paid for the key? She did. <laughs> she did? So she also uh, bullied you into letting her move in? Yeah. So she's pretty much the boss. She's trying to be the boss. No, no, she is the boss. She's trying to act like she's not the boss. No, no, but she is the boss. And she she's the boss. And let me tell you something else. Uh, first of all, this is a rental house you're, you're in? No, it's an apartment. It's an apartment. When is the lease up? Uh, next month. Next month? Perfect. Have you started looking for your new place? No. No, I haven't really thought about it. I like my place. Uh, again. She is not going to move. She's not uh, going to move until you've given it up. <laughs> then she'll move, because she can't afford to pay for your place. Right. Because it's like every chick out there. I'm not leaving. Until she has to come up with a check for the whole amount. But until you make it official by packing your things and going somewhere else, she's going to stand there with her arms folded. I just can't take the crying. Oh, I don't want to stay. Then get out, by the way. Please. Not for me. By the way, who, who's, who pays for the utilities? I pay for almost everything. Right. Well, why don't you stop paying for almost everything? Start cutting it off, huh? And that includes groceries and everything else. I've heard you say that to other people before. I listen to your show a lot. You don't have to pay. That's true. So stop doing it. It's like it's 101. We have another hour to go with your professor at 1-800-5800. Tom. The Tom Likas Show.